Hey, what is going on to Nintendo Nation? Hope you're having an awesome day. Today we're going to be going over a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon video that was released on the Japanese Pokemon YouTube channel uh, yesterday. I didn't get enough time to record this video then. Uh, and it's all in Japanese, so unfortunately um, there isn't an English version on the Pokemon channel, on the English Pokemon channel yet. Uh, so I'll let you guys know if there is one. But we're going to go over this video. It shows a few new uh, places we've not seen in the original like reveal trailer for Mystery Dungeon DX. And I just thought it was quite nice to see these... Uh, you know, old places reimagined, and I thought you guys would like to see that as well. So, uh, first of all, like I said, it's a Japanese promo video for Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. And in this video, Modkip and Skitty both go to talk to the village elder, Wishcash, who seems to explain to them uh, that natural disasters are happening around the Pokemon world. Now, we get to see a few Pokemon seeing these natural disasters. I I feel like I've seen, like, the sprite version of this, like, you know, the original version, basically, uh, in the original games. I scoured, scoured through, like, a lot of footage. I couldn't find it because I feel like it's a 10-second thing. And obviously on YouTube, when you wind through videos, it goes quite fast. I just couldn't find it. So if anyone has seen these, like, you know, with the Apom uh, fan free bit with the, like, with the Earth's Cracked and the bit with Mount Blaze, which you'll see coming up, um, let me know because I just couldn't find it. But I feel like they have shown them. But anyway, um, like I said... Uh, we get to see our first look at places from the original games, and these include the path to Lapis Cave with the big earthquake fissure. This is the bit I was mentioning earlier with Apom, Fanfi, Golbat, and the other Pokemon. Then there's the snowy path that leads to Mount Freeze. Uh, this has Mr. Mime, Cypher, and another Pokemon. I think it's Octillery. Next up is uh, Mount Blaze, and I'm assuming this is the part when you've left Mount Blaze and you're looking back after like conquering it. This is one of my favourite places in the original uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team games. It was such an ordeal getting through Mount Blaze and I remember thinking god that was so hard and then you look back and you feel like a sense of accomplishment from like climbing over this volcano. Uh, yeah that was really cool and I, at first I thought this might be the bit where you fight the boss. I won't spoil it for anyone uh, for those who haven't played but I'm pretty sure that was like inside the volcano and not uh, outside like this but yeah that was a, a really cool shot. I really like this one and then next up seems to be Silent Chasm. Because I thought it was Mount Thunder at first, but then I realised Mount Thunder doesn't really have that kind of entrance in the originals. And I remember there was one, and it's kind of over a cliff. And I always used to think that was Mount Thunder for whatever reason. But it's Silent Chasm, I'm sure of it. And it's just got a kind of different angle to it from the original games. Um, normally, obviously, in the original games, it's kind of top down. And I think in this bit, you're with uh, Jump Pluff, and you're kind of your partner's saying how their stomach hurts because they're kind of scared to go in. And that's the kind of, I feel like it's got to be Silent Chasm, I'm sure it is. Uh, but yeah, that, that looks really cool. And then next up, we can see the entrance to Mount Freeze with the Kangaskhan statue outside. And finally, is the entrance to Magma Cavern, which also has another Kangaskhan statue. Now the reason I mentioned the Kangaskhan statue is because Kangaskhan from Pokemon Square makes an appearance. Now the whole of this video's text is in Japanese, as I've said. Um, and I'll let you guys know if there is an English version. So I can't really know what's being said, but it seems to me... Um, that Wishcash and Kangaskhan are explaining how the Kangaskhan statues work. As we can see at the end of the video, Kangaskhan is up next to the statue and seems to be dropping off the items that the player has in storage. And it's kind of funny to see how this promo video is explaining and answering one of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon's long-standing questions. How do the Kangaskhan statues work? How do your items suddenly you know, appear there? And it seems to be like Kangaskhan does all the hard work and drops them off. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. It's a short one, um, but I thought you guys would like to see these, you know, areas reimagined, like Mount Blaze, Mount Freeze entrance, and uh, Silent Chasm, and also like that bit with the path up to Lapis Cave with the big earthquake for sure. Uh, yeah, I think this was a, a really cool promo video. But guys, let me know in the comments which place you'd like to see the most uh, from the original games we haven't seen yet. Uh, honestly, I, I, it's got to be Sky Tower for me. I think for a lot of people as well, it's just such a, an amazing place. Um, and also, guys, it is a month today that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX launches. It's the 6th of February as recording, and of course this game releases on the 6th of March, one day after my birthday. I might try and get an Australian copy so I can have it on my birthday, just get it a few hours early, uh, but we'll wait and see. Uh, so guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to hit the like button down below. It really, really helps out the channel more than you can know. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, of course, you're in the right place. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to become a part of the Twin donation. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I will see you on the next video. Peace!